Hello the Pioneer viewers, how are you doing? I hope you are healthy and well. Today I will again convey to you a very comprehensive report containing developments regarding the Russian-Ukrainian war. As you know, the Ukrainian armed forces are waging a larger scale and powerful defensive war against the Russian offensive forces on the Donetsk front line. During this defensive offensive, the Russian army is facing heavy losses. We have also mentioned this in our previous reports and reports on the agenda. New reports on this issue have emerged in recent days, although it is stated that the Russian forces suffered heavy casualties during attacks on the Donetsk front line, Russian sources generally deny this information. However, the information and images that have emerged recently show that the losses of the Russian army are quite high despite the claims of the Russian sources. So, what are the latest reports on the Russian army's Donetsk offensive? Let's make a look at the developments together. As the Pioneer team, we continue to present our reports on the Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all your comments on our videos. Please continue to comment on our content. Thank you for all your nice comments. Let's start, if you are ready, the Pioneer reporting. As we have often mentioned, the fighting between the Russian army and the Ukrainian army continues intensively on the Donetsk front line. The losses of the Russian army are quite high. The Russian army is trying to wear down the Ukrainian defense forces, especially by using meat attacks, because the Ukrainian fortifications here are quite strong. Moreover, the Ukrainian armed forces have made many new developments to this region. Every Ukrainian unit on the Donetsk front line is quite prepared. In addition, unmanned aerial vehicles and armored vehicles of the Ukrainian army continues their operations on the Donetsk front line in a very effective manner. Recently, these images were shared with the public by the BUAR unit of the 110th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. It is claimed that the images were recorded in the past weeks. In the said image, it is seen that the losses of the Russian armed forces around Avdiivka are quite high. It is understood that the many Russian soldiers lost their lives in the forest area during the clashes in the region, but have been there for a long time. The 47th Brigade, which also operates in the same region, recently obtained unmanned aerial vehicles images from the same region. In these images, it is understood that the Russian soldiers who lost their lives are still in the same area and that the Russian army has not come to the region to evacuate their losses. According to the video, approximately 150 Russian soldiers seem to have lost their lives. We can say that the Russian soldiers were able to advance about one and a half kilometers despite the high number of casualties on the Donetsk front line. As can be seen, the Ukrainian armed forces inflicted heavy losses and damages to the Russian armed forces with the operations they carried out. Moreover, these detected images are only related to the Russian soldiers lost. In addition to the Russian soldiers, the Russian army is also losing many armored vehicles and tanks. As we have stated in our previous agenda reports, the losses suffered by the Russian soldiers are not only due to the military activities. At the same time, winter conditions and other circumstances on the front line are also an important factor affecting the losses suffered by the Russian army. While the Ukrainian armed forces continue their defense struggle on the front line, the Russian army is struggling with the heavy losses. This is a fact that cannot be hidden. Many sources, especially with the provocation of the Russian sources, claim that the losses of the Russian army are not as high as claimed. However, the information we have just shared revealed the Russian sources are lying again. We can also express the losses of the Russian army as follows. Recently, the Kyiv army spokesman made a statement. In this statement, the spokesman also mentioned the losses of the Russian army. Colonel Alexander Shutopin, spokesman for the Ukrainian Tavuria Forces Group, used the following statements. If we count from 10 October, when the enemy became more active in some places it advanced and one and a half to two kilometers, but this cost them dearly. In a little more than two months, the enemy, the Russian army, in this area of the responsibility of the Tavria group, lost about 25,000 personnel, about 200 tanks and more than 400 armored vehicles. In general, these losses represent the loss of about 10,000 Russian soldiers per kilometer. 80% of their losses occurred in Avdiivka. 
As we can see from Stupin's statements, the losses of the Russian armed forces are considerable. Moreover, this is confirmed by the official Ukrainian sources. Under these circumstances, the continuation of the attacks by the Russian armed forces will cause them to suffer more losses. Of course, this situation will pave the way for the major problems in the Russian public opinion. As we mentioned earlier, the losses of the Russian army are not limited to the military personnel. Many Russian armored vehicles and Russian tanks are also destroyed during the clashes. The Russian armed forces are also suffering heavy losses of armored vehicles on the Kherson front line where the Ukrainian armed forces have increased their pressure in recent days. The T-72 BM-3M tank, which the Russian army owns its large numbers, which is used very often on the front line and which is very popular and praised by the Russian public, was destroyed during the Ukrainian attacks on the Kherson front line. Recently, the Ukrainian Aerial Reconnaissance Unit's Magyar Briggs shared on the image via Telegram. Recently, the Ukrainian Aerial Reconnaissance Unit Magyar Birds shared on the image via Telegram. In this image, a Russian T-72 BM-3M main battle tank was allegedly destroyed with a huge explosion on the Kherson front line. Allegedly, this tank was deployed there to destroy the bridgeheads of the Ukrainian army on the Kherson front line. As you know from our map reports, in the directions of Ovdenivka, Poima and Pechenivka, the Ukrainian army is actively conducting operations. The operations here are largely aimed to wearing down the Russian army. We can say that there is no general goal of the progress here. Except for a few strategic positions, we don't think that the Ukrainian army will try to advance here. The Kherson front line is actually a critical area and the situation in the area is of a great importance for the Ukrainian armed forces. Ukrainian armed forces have to advance from this region because this is a getaway to the Crimean Peninsula. If the Ukrainian armed forces cross this critical threshold, they can reach the Crimean Peninsula. Likewise, Ukrainian Defense Minister Omerov recently claimed in a press statement to the international community that the Ukrainian armed forces will take over the Crimean Peninsula one 100% in the 2024 offensives. Let's see if these claims will come true. What do you think? Do you think the Ukrainian armed forces will be able to break the pressure of the Russian army on the Donetsk front line? What do you think about the increasing losses of the Russian army in this region? Do you think the increasing losses will discourage the Russian army? What do you think about the statements of the Ukrainian Defense Minister Omerov? Is it a realistic claim? Let me know in the comments. I read and care about all your comments.